Now to Jill Duggar Dillard, who, watch, who's, who millions watch grow from a young teen on 19 kids and counting to a wife and mom on Counting On. She's written a new memoir, Counting the Cost, and sat down with Juju Chang to talk about what she says we didn't see on TV. Good morning, Juju. Good morning to you, Michael. You know, Jill and Derek's wedding and their pregnancies were ratings bonanzas, fueling her family's reality show, Juggernaut. The Duggar brand was all about loving parents and a blissful gaggle of kids. But Jill says for her, off camera, it was far more tense and far more painful. This is the story of my family. We're the Duggars. For nearly a decade, Jill Duggar Dillard's family was a fixture on reality TV. Is he? Good boy. But now, in their memoir, Counting the Cost, Jill and her husband Derek describe the family drama they say the cameras didn't capture, and the price they say came with it. What were the costs in the way that you took account? Closeness and relationships with my family, that's been one of the biggest costs that I've seen in trying to have healthy boundaries. Jill writing about the culture of control she says she was raised in. Her parents, devout followers of the controversial former leader of IBLP, the Institute of Basic Life Principles. One of the main themes of the book is this toxic patriarchy, this idea that parents maintain control of their children into adulthood. The couple say Jill's father, Jim Bob, treated them harshly for trying to step back from the show. Jill claims he asked her to sign a paper on the eve of her wedding, but refused for months to show her the full filming contract she unknowingly signed. I feel like I was tricked into it. Derek, you're a lawyer, and you referred to this contract as a fraud. Yes, yeah, and I still believe that I stand behind that. It was a contract that we wouldn't have agreed to based on the terms that were given. Jill says she filmed over 200 episodes and two dozen specials with her family, but never received a paycheck until she confronted her father about it. The idea that you weren't paid and yet your wedding mm -hmm. attracted 4.4 million viewers, you were yes. in many ways the stars of the show. Yeah, even the show soon after that was named Jill and Jessa Counting On, and we still weren't seeing income even at that point. You write openly, you got a check for $175,000, but the revenue you generated, mm -hmm. one could argue was mm -hmm. considerably more than that. Yes. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar telling ABC News in a statement, in part, we've aimed to deal honorably with our children, our finances, and our other endeavors. While imperfect, it is our intent and desire to live a life that honors Christ. Jill also reflecting on her brother Josh, who she told investigators abused her as a child, though he never faced charges, and in 2022 was sentenced to 12 and a half years in federal prison for receiving child pornography. Watching the way that my parents protected my brother, and it's still hard to swallow. There's like one point where I call my dad out about it and I say, you treat me worse than you treat my brother, my pedophile brother. Do you feel like you'll ever reach out to your brother? I have um, one time just because I didn't know what to do. I sent like a handmade Christmas card to him, but then it got sent back. Jill says her parents did come to visit the birth of her third son, but things are still strained. I'll see my mom at sister get-togethers for brunch or birthdays. Dad's relationship's a little more complicated. But is it fair to say you're estranged? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Some family members have reached out and said, well, if you're trying to reconcile, this is not the way to go about it, writing a book. And I was like, well, that's not my reason for writing the book. Jill's parents also added that they don't believe that the best way to resolve conflicts, facilitate forgiveness and reconciliation is through the media or in a public forum, so they will not comment further. Of course, Jill's view is that she wanted to share her story to be a voice for other people who maybe haven't found theirs yet and need some extra support. Counting the Cost is on sale now, guys. Of course, we'll have much more on Nightline tonight. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.